Tuesday, April 23rd, William Hogarty here. So today we're gonna kind of talk about my three joint replacement surgeries. I had a right hip, a right shoulder, and a left shoulder. And this was over a period of about two years. I had chronic pain for about seven years. It's absolutely horrible. So let me take you back to the beginning. When I was bodybuilding, I was doing four plates behind the neck presses for reps. I knew I was hurting my shoulder and I did, but I won Mr. California. So at the time, my ego was bigger than my brains. If you asked me three years ago, would it all be worth it? I say, absolutely not. I was in so much pain. I could barely walk. I couldn't train. Everything hurt. It was a miserable existence. So first I had my right hip done. March 21st, I had an interior hip replacement. That's the kind where they cut you open and they just spread it all apart. They cut the top of your femur off. Actually woke up a little bit in surgery and heard that saw <laughs> through the top of your bone. That's interesting. And then you hear the hammer pounding the apparatus through the top of your femur. Then they put it all back together. So it was amazing. I walked the next day up three flights of stairs. Overnight, the pain went away. And it was caused by a birth defect of having a shallow hip socket. And that shallow hip socket created spurs on the end. And then it went to bone on bone. And it was 20 years of that. Here's a picture of my bloody old hip, the ball that they cut off, that I heard in the middle of surgery. That was 35% larger because the bone on bone aspect of it. Pain before was excruciating. Basically, it hurt all the time. And then every third day, every step stung. Afterwards, it all went away. So you went from painful cardio to gone. Recovery was very quick. I went to the gym two days after. Clearly, I did not train my legs. I trained upper body, got blood going. And then I started moving it slowly. And I was walking without crutches within two weeks. They said it was absolutely a miracle how fast they recovered. And I'll co contribute it to one of the supplements that I'll, I'll cover later. And the fact that I got back into the gym immediately and had activity and blood flow. Blood flow is everything. You want to live longer and have happy girlfriends, that's blood flow. Meds, I think I took uh, maybe a painkiller for two or three days after, and it was nothing. And I want to thank, oh, the scar. I have a small scar here. Here's a picture of it. I don't even notice it. I don't feel it. I don't do anything. Although I did get greedy. Last year, I started training my legs and doing squats, three plates. And it started hurting so bad, I had to limp when I went on vacation for about a week. I do not do squats anymore. I do hack squats, leg press. Now, it's harder to put muscle on with that, but I'll take that over going backwards on the surgery. And I want to thank Dr. Huffinger from Kaiser, who did the surgery. is amazing. Okay, my shoulders. I had a right shoulder replacement and a left. This was because I was bodybuilding. My ego was more than my reasonable. I knew I was hurting myself. The process, back in 2017, I went in to see the doctor, and they said we could do a replacement, but we use screws. And when we the screws into an old shoulder blade that is gone, there's a high possibility it'll turn into mush, and you'll be left with nothing. That did not sound good to me. So when I had my hip replaced, I asked Dr. Huffringer for a referral into the same guy that could do that thing for shoulders. And he referred me to Dr. Hart at Kaiser. The process on my right side was they cut the shoulder. Uh, you can kind of see the scar right here, right? Can you see the scar? Yep, right there. There's the scar. Right here. Actually, you can barely see it right there. So they cut the shoulder. They pull everything out. Now, this one's different. They actually cut the bicep tendon. Pull that thought. Then they put everything back in, and they put you in a sling. 
Now, I got a little too greedy and too acted too quickly. I took my daughter on a play date the day after surgery, and I didn't ice it, and I got edema for two weeks. Basically, I got a grapefruit coming down my shoulder every day to the end of my hand. I thought it was going to explode for two weeks. It was miserable, horrible. The recovery was bad. I was on high meds because of the pain. Uh, it was bad. Now, the scar you already saw, there are very little scars. Had it not been for the way I did the recovery, it would have been straightforward. Now, let's get to the surgery that separates the men from the boys. My left hip was a full vault titanium replacement. Basically, that means your shoulder blade is so bad, there's nothing to attach to it. So they have to make this shoulder blade apparatus, then then they put the reverse replacement ball up, so the socket's backwards. So in my right shoulder, the socket's normal, the left shoulder socket's going up from the bottom. And so it's backwards, so it's a little bit weird. Now that pain was gnarly. For the six months it made him to take the apparatus, and here's a picture of my old shoulder. You can see the spurs, very bad, okay? And they had to make this thing, and it took six months. I was in so much pain, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't do anything. So I was taking oxycodone for six months. This was in um, <clears throat> the first part of 2022. So I had the right shoulder done in September 21. This was April 2022. And from January through April, I was on oxy because the pain was so bad. So then we do the surgery. This time I did not take my daughter on a play date the day after surgery. And this time I iced like no tomorrow. And it was unbelievable. Now that tendon, you got to be careful. When they cut the bicep tendon, they basically sew it back to your pectoral with dental floss. So you got to be really careful. And it is unbelievable. Two days after surgery, no more oxy. Now, anybody who hasn't taken oxycodone, let me tell you, it's addictive because it works. It also fucks up your life. Okay, so two days after surgery, no more pain. And I realized like literally in April, maybe May 2022, I woke up one day without pain. It was it was magic because it's easy to have a smile on your face when you have no pain. And I met my girlfriend in July. I got to tell you, I was a grumpy man when I was in pain. Had I met her when I was going through this fiascos, um, it would have been no go. So let me tell you, not being pain is amazing. And that I have to thank Dr. Hart at Kaiser. He did a fantastic job. Uh, the recovery, literally, here's a picture of me in the gym two days after. Here's a picture of me leaving surgery. I have a smile because the oxy was still going. But oxy is a nasty drug and it's very addictive. And anything you could do not to do it is the way it is. Um, okay. Hypothetically, my supplements, I would never do this without the advice of a doctor. But hypothetically, if I took growth hormone during these surgeries, it, it drastically increases your rate of recovery. In fact, in both, all three of my post-op surgeries, they're like, we've never seen a scar heal like that. We've never seen anything like this. It's unbelievable, okay? Good stuff, hypothetically. Now, I do superset. I do superset, okay? And I superset really on pushing more. No, actually, all I do, okay? Because I can't go as heavy as I want to. So I superset to get the load on the muscle for the stimulus. And I actually think I'm doing better than throwing heavy weight around. Now, back, I can still go heavy. On the pulling movements, I'm five-plate guy. But on pushing movements... I check my ego at the door and I superset. Miss, long recovery, no way. I was in the gym two days afterwards. Even somebody who's a slow poke, six weeks, it pays for it. So if anybody is nervous about shoulder replacement or hip replacement, call me or DM me, set you straight. It's good stuff. Recovery is very fast. Um, and then the pain is not bad at all. So that's what I know. And had you asked me two years ago when I'd done the bodybuilding again, I would have said no. I was paying for it. It was miserable. 
But now, absolutely. Those were some amazing days. And now to be able to train again, like I'm 30, knowing the difference of having pain, not having pain, I wake up every day happy. So I uh, want to wish everybody a great day. Any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. And as always, I'm an advocate of the keto burrito, 35 grams of protein, 25 grams of fiber. And I'm really making a difference in helping the kids overcome childhood diabetes. And we're at about 35% now. So let's help the kids. Anyway, have a great day.